What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back bringing you guys part 5 of my playthrough on Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in the last episode, we defeated our first Titan, which was the Stony Cliff Titan. We defeated the Grass Gym and we added a second Pokemon to our team. And in today's video, we're going to be heading all the way back to the east side of the map. Actually, the west side of the map if we're looking at it towards the Academy. So I'll actually show you guys right now. We're going to be heading over this way. Right, let me zoom out a little bit. So the, yeah, the west side of the map and actually completing our first team star challenge. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and join the Genius community. We are this close to finishing our first rental team and competitive team for doubles VGC, uh, Scarlet and Violet. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel. But let's get started with today's video. What I want to actually do right off the rip is going to be go fly all the way over. So we're going to make a quick destination, fly to the Cortando West little uh poke center heal up your pokemon and then start traveling the path because that's basically what we're going to be doing today traveling the path defeating trainers add a new pokemon to our pokedex and uh making our way towards that team star base so when i first played through this game i did the fire team star first that was like like right after the second gym i did the fire team star and I actually really struggled with that one so i think i actually did them in the wrong order so i'm thinking this one should be the first one and then that team star or fire one should be the second one so i guess we'll see in today's video I guess we, we shall see, but let's get rolling here. And I believe it should be this path up this way, right? Yeah, we're going to have to travel up this little snake road, blah, blah, blah. Go across the bridge. This bridge will lead us to here. Then we can loop it all the way around here, all the way to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. We got the path. Perfect, perfect, perfect. There's a nice little Mareep. And, yo, my buddy found a shiny Mareep. And I'm upset about that because I want a shiny Mareep. They're so cool because they're just all pink and fluffy. Really cool shiny. Definitely one of the better shinies in the game. But uh, do I leave... Watchful? Now nah, we're gonna go Crocolo in this battle just to see what level these Pokemon are at. But if they're at a high level, we're gonna need Crocolo to kind of get after them. But I feel like they're gonna be about like, I'd say 18, maybe 17, right? That sounds about right to Fletcher. So actually, maybe even lower. Let's see. What level are you, Fletchling? 14. All right, never mind. Gene's lying. Should be able to just steamroll this guy. And I, I always forget that Fletchling is, uh, Okay, we killed him one shot anyway, but I always forget that it's not a uh, fire type. It's just straight flying. So I could just pop an incinerate to that thing and kind of taking it out. We are chilling. He's going to give me the clap skis. We're going to take his money. I see a farm of Skittos up here. What up, Skittos? How you doing? Sorry, I have to do this, but I'm going to have to auto attack all you guys. Get him. Get him. Take him out. Get him all. Get them all. No, not the Lycan Rocks. Not the Lycan Rocks. See, see, not the Lycan Rocks. Never mind. You guys messed up. You guys messed up. And is that our first Fanfy? That might be our first fancy. I would love to add it to the Pokedex. So I'm going to get after that thing. Get this thing two potions right here. And we're going to fight the fancy. I don't think I have one in the decks. And fancy is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Look how adorable that thing is. It's so cute. Look at him. Little fancy action. Sorry, I have to take you out, though. Have to take you out, fancy. Bro, fancy's so sick. Such a cool Pokemon from Gen 2. I love it so much. I love it so much. Another Skiddo here. Crocolore can take that one on. We'll get the free XP and we'll kind of roll from there. Oh, Mudbray too. Lovely little Mudbray. I'll battle you, Mudbray. Come here. Yo, where are you going, Mudbray? I need to battle you. I'm sorry. <laughs> you got run away from me. Knowing that I'm just going to hit him up hard. We'll go incinerate. And is this KO? It does. Awesome. So quick KOs is, is the way to go. Big fan of the quick KOs. Let's roll here. Another Fanfy. Lovey Fanfy. Rock and Rough. Skiddo. Mudbray. And I don't think i ever seen this cave. What's back here? Oh, just leads to the other side. Actually, no, there should be an item back here. And a Charconet. Cool. A little Charconet action. I think it's, uh, its stats are really good. I was looking at it the other day for, like, competitive team building and stuff. And Charconet actually looking really good. I think it's going to be a fun Pokemon to use in the uh, competitive scene. Hey, yo, my brain. Watch it. But, yeah, my first team is almost done. I cannot wait to bring it to you guys. And probably, from the time of this recording, probably another day or two should be done. Because I have two Pokemon fully done. I have two more pokemon that are not fully done but are already made and i have i just need to get the money to get the uh the natures and the bottle caps and then i just have to uh breed the other two pokemon because one of them does have a breeding move which i really want which i just feel like i feel like i better go all out with this team you know i don't want to make like a team that i'm not, like not putting like full commitment into so this team definitely looking really good hopefully i can actually grab some wins with you with it because you guys know i don't team build too much i usually use other rental teams but this one should be fun 
Just know I'm not an expert, but it's going to be a good team. It's going to be solid. It's not going to be like the best team ever with the best synergy, but it's got some strong uh, strong Pokemon, some great support mons on it. All around just great. All around just phenomenal. We got these little sparkles. I'll grab that. New TM. Let's see what we get. A little sunny day. Eh, solid for competitive, but we'll not use it at all. You know what? You know what's weird? Like, Wimscott's not in this game. So that's like huge. Like, Wimscott was so big in Sword and Shield. I feel like it was one of the only Pokemon that was like in the meta every single uh, series. That it's just gone now. It's just gone. Oh, I was going to hop the river. Good thing I <laughs> good thing I actually turned. Do we have a Psyduck? We might not have a Psyduck yet. Let me let me change the position. We might not have a Psyduck in our Pokedex. So you know what? I'm just going to catch it or uh, beat up on this thing. I don't think we versus Psyduck yet. I can't remember if we did. But I like Psyduck. Psyduck's a really cool Pokemon. I think we have because considering it, it knows that we have super effective shots. I think we have versus, or I think we have versus Psyduck. <laughs> Get a nice Paralyze. And hopefully we Paralyze and not hit my watch roll. I know he's caught off guard anyway. Nice. Nice. Lovely. Lovely. This is a beautiful sight. It is a beautiful sight. But there we go. Watch with KOs. And he should evolve rather soon. He might be like a level 24 evolution. He's pretty close in there, which I really, really like. If I can evolve him in today's episode, that could be good too. Nice little Choodle over there. I think there should be a trainer up here, right? Yeah, there he is. Howdy, buddy. Howdy. Howdy, howdy, howdy. But yeah, Watch Roll's really good. I really like its stats because it's it's really quick. It's All of its stats stink, kind of, except for its speed and special attack. So it's more like a... I don't know if it learns Tailwind, but in competitive, you could probably use it for a Tailwind mod. Or just like a Sash him up with like Bolt Switch, all that good stuff. But I really like its ability of... of uh, well, we don't have the ability for it. But it learns both. And I forget its last ability. It's hidden ability. I think it's hidden ability is actually really good. But Voltazorb is really good on this Pokemon because it can't get hit by ground moves, which is super effective to electric. And it can't get hit by flying or electric moves, which is super effective up against flying. So it kind of just takes out two of its weaknesses, which, which is really good. Which I really like. Let's keep moving this way. See if any new Pokemon. There's a Mankey. I believe we already have a Mankey. There's going to be a little sandwich shop here. Little Skiddo. I do want your little Skiddo fur. And oh, it's Watchful. Watchful, you should be super effective up against that too. Never mind, we just ran into it. <laughs> we just ran into it, so we might as well we might as well attack it up, right? Might as well hit it with that pluck. Can you KO here? No, you cannot. Come on, kill it. Or come on, Watchful. You're better than that. And look at his little goofy eyes. <laughs> I really like this Pokemon. I remember I remember seeing the leaks of this Pokemon. I was like, I, I, I gotta put it on the team. I gotta put it on team. It's just it's just a cool Pokemon. I always like the regional birds. Plus the regional birds really do good on the uh on the typing for your team. If you look at the coverage on some or get some coverage. Plus this one had electric, so I was like, come on now, I gotta add it. I gotta add it to the squad. And there is uh what's that Pokemon called? It's Belly Bolt's first stage. Is it Tadbolt? It's all learning all the names. I think it's Tadbolt, and I really wanna fight you. Come here, Tadbolt. I don't think I, I don't think I fought one yet. I believe it is Tad Bulb, and I can't believe this thing evolves into Belly Bolt. Like, it gets so much bigger, which is kind of funny. It just gets so much bigger. If you guys are looking to uh, actually know how to evolve into Belly Bolt, you just need a Thunderstone. Which you can get just by walking around and getting sparkles and stuff. So eventually you'll find one. But, here's the little thing. I can't swim yet, but I can actually grab this Pokeball. And grab this little Pokeball. And this Pokemon's funny too. What is it, Fiddle right here? These little small things? They evolve into the giant Ostrich Pokemon. Which makes no sense, but it's kind of funny at the same time. Let me make sure I'm going the right way. So if I took the path, I'm just going to keep following this way. Yeah, eventually we're going to hit this. And then instead of going down this way, because this way is like a hard gym. I think I did this gym like 7th. I might did that gym 7th. Or 6th. It was up there. But we want to make this path go this way, all the way up, and over to Team Star Base. Yeah, yeah, we got, we got everything. We, we, we know where we're going. Just follow, just follow the yellow brick road. <laughs> We're gonna take on this trainer. Oh, I thought this trainer was a girl for a second, but it's just a hiker with some rocking hair. He's gonna send out a Fungus. <laughs> a little Fungus, dude. I like all, dude, they added a lot of small Pokemon in this game, I feel like. I think when I'm walking around, like, just Paldea, I'm just always, like, stumbling on, like, small Pokemon. You got the Funguses in some areas, you got the Nimbles in some areas. Like, a lot of Pokemon are small. You got the, uh, the Fiddles and the, uh, Tad Bulbs. Just a lot. Ooh, and Croc Croc wants to learn Snarl. I definitely want to learn Snarl. Snarl's a solid move, and I want to get rid of... I'm not going to... Oh, actually, I do use Leer a little bit. I'm actually going to get rid of Bite. Considering Snarl is special attacking, and Crocolore's special attacking is higher than his physical attacking, I'd rather go with that. So, 
we're rocking with Snarl. And Snarl gets a special attack drop. So if we're going up against special attackers, we just constantly drop them. Alright, onward. Back on Karidon. Onward! We almost made it to a... Oh, more Skidoos. Get him, Crocolore. Crocolore, like, if there wasn't, like, a Mankey in here, Crocolore can pretty much just slap up on all these Pokemon. It might actually slap up onto this Mankey, too. Let's watch him go to town. Oh, yeah, he's doing good. Now he's going after the Skittos. The other Skittos are like, hey, yo, we out of here. We're not dealing with that. We got a rare bone right there. We make it to the Poke Center. And is there anything else up here that I really want? Actually, might be a team or something over here. There's a little bit of Mudbray action. Rock rough. And again, yo, I was just talking about this. The small Pokemon. I didn't even see this thing. I'm not killing it. You don't, you don't, you don't even get the deserve to be in my XP form. Ridiculous. Oh, yo, look at that. And a Capsicid almost hit me. The thing's tiny. Actually, I don't know if I fought a Capsicid. I'll fight it. I'll fight the Capsicid. I think, I don't know if this one's fire yet. This one might be straight grass. This one might be straight grass. Let's see. It is. This one's straight grass, and then it evolves to the Chili Pepper. The Skull, vi Skull Villain, I believe. Yeah, Skull Villain, which is grass and fire. The first ever in this game. I really like how they're adding like Pokemon like that, like that we never seen before. I'm gonna head this way. We got a manky party over here, <laughs> and we got a Pokeball. That's exactly what I was kind of hoping to find over here. And this actually goes back a bit deeper to another Pokeball. I'm all about it. There's a river here, so I never traveled up in my main game. Maybe I have to do that off stream. All right, onward. Let's keep moving on here. We get the Mud Bray, and I think I'm gonna step on a Pokemon. Right? No, we're just gonna keep hopping, try to hop over all these little guys. <laughs> <laughs> and make our way right here. Beautiful, lovely. Like I was talking about with team building, I'm building my first rental team. And to build teams in this game is just so much easier and so much better than the old games. And breeding, breeding's a little different. I think breeding's better for non-shiny hunters. But I, th I feel like breeding is better or worse for uh, shiny hunters. I think it really depends. What Pokemon is this? That's Rock Rock. Like I was saying, everything you need, like there's no more like really like BP anymore. Like, you remember you had to grind, like, the battle tower, get the battle tower points, blah, 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 to get all that stuff, and it would take so long. Now you can buy everything with just straight-up money. And I am actually bringing you guys a money guide very, very soon. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow. Very soon. To help you guys actually get as much money as you can and help you guys build teams as quickly as possible. A trainer up here, and I believe we go right after this. Yeah, we go right this way after we brush this trainer, and we just follow this path around to the team star base. You can go to, uh, what is it, Deli Bird Presence? Yeah, and they have everything. Like, the more you play, obviously, you're gonna have to, uh, I think you have to beat the game first and, uh, have the end credits roll to get the IV checker, the judge. So you're really not gonna be team building teams until after that. So once you get the judge function, then you can kind of unlock everything at Deli Bird Presents or Deli Bird Presence. And you can get the Soul Vest, you can get your Life Orbs, you can get the Bottle Caps, you can get the PP Ups, you can get all that stuff over there. You just need Chansey Supplies and the other one. And I kid you not, you just need a lot of money. Because it is expensive. It is expensive. I mean, some people like to EV train Pokemon with uh, the power bracelets and all that stuff. Which I never gave it a try. Maybe it might be quicker. I feel like a lot of people do it. But I like to actually just get the money and uh, and just buy the PP ups and the HP ups, and the proteins, all that good stuff. So if you guys are like a people of like the bracelets, let me know in the comment section down below how that works for you guys. Do you guys think it's quicker? Do you guys think it's slower? Let me know. Take that, we got a road time call. We're at these little windmills, which I really like. And there is a Titan up there. Do I? Wait a minute. Do I do this Titan first? We could do the second Titan. Do I do the second Titan? Or do I go... Do the second Titan first. I feel like we should come back for that second Titan, right? I kind of really want to do the second Titan. Let's say we give it a try. Do we do the second Titan? I say we go do Team Starfall first, and then we go do the Titan. The Titan's right there. I don't know. Do we give the Titan a try? We have an electric Pokemon. Hold up. I said we give the Titan a go. If we die, we die. I'm all about doing the Titan here. Let me see if we got any TMs for my boy. Got any, like, Thunder Wave or something? Electro Ball is not bad. Electro Ball is not bad. He does learn that eventually. You know, we're not going to give him TM. You know, we're going after this. We are getting after this. Let's go. Let's get right up there. We got Sleep and Psyduck that we just woke up. And the one problem here is we got to watch out for these Falling Rocks. Which I am the best at maneuvering Falling Rocks. And we get over here. I didn't realize that this Pokemon was this close. And did I ever go over here before? I feel like I haven't. Yo, was there just a Poke? Hold up. 
Am I was I tweaking? Was there just a Pokeball like right here? I could have sworn. Just sworn. We got Mud Braze. I think something spawns over here. Haunter. And we got TM, which I really want. Give me Thunderbolt. 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 Helping hand. Come on. We we do like one double battle in, in this game. <laughs> and you're gonna give me helping hand. Even though, again, it's a nice little TM to learn. Having your TM machine for double battles. Helping hand is phenomenal in double battles. We're gonna battle this trainer right here, and then we're gonna I did not again, I did not realize that the Titan was this close. I really did not know. You know we might as well we might as well get after him, right? We might as well get after him. So maybe we might be we might be doing that and Team Starfall in today's video. Which would be pretty cool. I feel like we have enough time. We've only been recording for about 15 minutes. Ain't shabby. Ain't bad. Get done a lot of stuff. Oh, let's get moving. Back to the mountainside. We got this little rolly rock. And yo, see, I told you a Pokeball was there. It tweaked out and then it came back to us. It came back to us. I knew it was there. I thought I was going crazy. I thought I was going crazy. Oh my God, a lot of rocks. Hey, hey, hey. We got hit by that one and it don't really matter. I never got hit by one of those rocks. So I didn't know what it would do and it kind of just knocked us back a little bit. But we made our way up to the top of this mountain. This lovely little mountain. How you doing, birdie bird? Got this cool little bird right here. And this is going to be our second Titan. I think it is a cool Titan, too. Look at him. Stork. <laughs> it's a stork. It is Bomb Birdier. The open sky Titan. And I can just start rocking this thing with Spark. I think it's Wing Attack. Oh, it's doing some knee damage to me. How much damage are we going to do? I wonder if we're strong enough to actually beat this thing. And it seems like we are if we're doing that much damage to that thing. I think we should be fine. Wing attack coming through here again. We could potion next shot. Spark coming through. Can we get a power or something? It'd be big time for us. Did we heal up? Nah, we'll let Watchful go out. It's fine. We'll we'll let Watchful die out. It's not that big of a deal because you don't you don't get any XP for defeating this thing. So I'll just heal it up next turn. We'll bring out my Crocolore, and we're gonna be thriving. Can we one shot this? Yeah, that brings it down enough. So you just have to bring it down to like the the red area with the first with the uh, first time you're attacking these uh, titans, and then they fly away, and then you do another battle with them with your uh, partner Arvin. So Arvin always shows up. He's got your back. What is up with these titans and eating these herbs? They eat it, they get so much more powerful. I've completely finished the. Uh, the, the storyline in the other game and I'm telling you guys the final battle is actually really good and area zero Which is in the crater of Paldea is such a cool place. Like I really like what they did with that place. I Really do and Why does this sound weird when this thing like spawns up? Oh, I don't get my watch roll back That is weird, but I think we should be fine with this thing. He has a rock type Pokemon We have our Crocolore and I believe if we defeat it here. We just take it out. We kind of get one from there It's gonna pluck me. How dare you pluck me? Incinerate coming hot. Beep. Oh, that's a mean damage. Smackdown coming in here. That should do some mean damage. And I don't think he can take out my Crocolore. I do not think he can take him out. So I think we just pick up the cow here. And he torments me anyway. That's a little torment action. We're going to drop another Incinerate. Pop. And can you smack it down? Rock throw for the KO. We love it. We love it. So yeah. We take out the second Titan. That one was actually really easy. And I didn't think we were high enough level to actually take that Pokemon out. And I was just like, hey, screw it. We're here. Let's do the Open Sky Titan. And that was very easy. That was very easy. My Pokemon were obviously way higher level. Way higher level. So yeah, I think we're on the right path now. Because again, like I said in my other game, I did the Team uh, Star, the Fire one, before I did the second Titan or this... Uh, this Team Star that we're going after now. And it was just really hard. I had to use a lot of potions. They were just teeing off on me. I was struggling a lot, but I feel like this is the right path. That's what I found out by playing this game. It's like there's obviously not like a right path. You can do whatever you want, but level scaling wise, you have to go back and forth, back and forth. It kind of just like bounce around the left side, go to the right side, then back to the left side until you fully kind of complete a circle. And that's what how I felt like the level scaling kind of went.
Look at this, the lovely herb. Oh, and we're gonna get a new, uh, new ability for Akarida, and I believe it's swimming? It's either swimming or... No, I think it is swimming. Yeah, I believe it goes, uh... What's it go? It goes dashing, swimming, jumping, and then flying and climbing. Those are the five you get, and I think they go in that order. Bump, 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 bump. It's really cool though, when you beat like the main stories, like when you beat all the titans, you beat Team Starfall, and you beat the, uh, the Elite Four and all that good stuff, when you go to the post game kind of quest, it kind of explains a lot of things, and I think the story is pretty solid in this game, I was kind of keeping up with it in my other game, and it, it was solid, it was solid, I thought they threw a little, like, in the Area Zero, which is the creator of Palette, like, they, they threw a little like, curveballs at you, and I, I thought it sounded really cool. We eating a sandwich again. My boy Karidon's like, yo, you know, you know, I gotta get a bite of that. So of course I'm gonna share it with him. Of course I'm gonna share it with him. I've been riding on his back all day long. He deserves a sandwich at least, you know. I've been pulling him out of his Pokeball when he's trying to relax. I'm like, hey yo, take me here, take me there. He's been working this dude up a storm, so he definitely needs some food. Definitely needs some food. Give it to him, jeans. Look at that. He's munching. <laughs> chomp, chomp. It says. <laughs> Then he gets a little like magical boost there, and he will be able to crawl, move across water now, which is really helpful. It really is. Now you get the islands, you can discover new Pokemon, you can travel quicker. Everything about it. Everything about it. And I think they implemented Coridon and Maridon really good in this game by giving them to you early and being able to ride. Because if I had to wait like a gym or two and just was just walking across the Paldea region, that would be awful. You'd be moving around here so slow. Just be a disaster. So luckily they did give it give it to us once you hit the open world area. He's gonna send out his little Pokemon. It's Mass Baltiff. Mass Mabostiff. I still don't know how to pronounce it, but I'm getting used to all the Pokemon names. I always love learning new Pokemon and learning the new decks. And I'm pretty close to knowing all of them already. I think there's just like a few where I'm just like, eh, I do not really know too much. But a good chunk, I would say about 80, 80 to 90 percent i'm in that range of knowing all the pokemon already and even their typing still i'm pretty good with their typing still that's something that just clicks for me like i don't know why when i'm playing pokemon like i can just remember everything like, i always like i know almost like all thousand pokemon now know like all their typings i know like all games inside and out they just it just sticks with me i don't know why i guess it's just i was born to play pokemon <laughs> Arvin's gonna put all the information into his mom's lab book, and we gonna get cooking. Can we leave this place? I got Team Starfall to beat in today's video, which I think we should be fine doing. It, Team Starfall doesn't really take too long. You kind of just do like a little side mission, and then you, you defeat the boss, and it's, it's just light work. But this dog looks really cool. I do like this guy. I kind of like this Pokemon. I was checking out his stats too, and they were they weren't bad. It could have been better. There, there's obviously a lot, a lot more Pokemon that are a lot better with stat wise than this thing. But I think it's solid. I think it's definitely usable in doubles. All right, let's get move on. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cutscenes over. Cutscenes over. We get on with the gameplay. Get rolling, and we're gonna get, get a quick Rotom call from I believe it's Professor Sada. Yeah, hello, Gene Sada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby, 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 blah, blah, blah. I think she's just gonna teach us how to, yeah, move across the water. You legit just hop into the water with your Karidon or Maridon, and they just start moving. We're at the peak of the mountain. And what I always like to do is I kind of just like to jump off, and I can actually land in the water. Which way do we have to go? We have to go back down the mountainside. And we jump this way, and we can actually, can I get up here? I don't know if I get up there. I think I need a climbing ability to get up here. Unless I can just walk it up this way. I can. Okay, cool. You can grab that. There's some Basculins. And are my Pokemon healed? They are healed. So, you know what? I'm going to fight this thing. I'm going to fight you. I don't believe I have this thing in my Pokedex. A little Basculin. Oh, and I forgot. Bascu Legion's in this game. One of my favorite Pokemon from Legend Arceus. Really cool Pokemon. Love its typing. Water and Ghost. I also learned Swift Swim in this game, so I think it's going to be really, really viable in a competitive play. Pair it up with uh, Palper, a little drizzle action. 
Set the rain, get rolling from there. Sableye is also in this game, so you can pop it with, uh, you can have weather teams with him too. Which I really like. I really, really like. Oh, do I have a Carpenter Dex? I don't think I have a Carpenter Dex. Carp, Carp. Carp, Carp, Carp. <laughs> carp. <laughs> I love Carp in the, uh, in the TV shows. You're just sitting there, Carp, 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 Carp. And I think we already seen a Magikarp, but I'm gonna kill it anyway. I'm gonna take it out anyway. Good old Magikarp. Yeah, wait, wait a minute. We got Carpy right here. <laughs> I got a, I got a Carp plush, which I love. I got this one, and I have the other starters from the, uh, the Galar region. From Generation... Generation, what is it? Eight now. That one's eight. It's not the newer generation anymore. It's the older generation. <laughs> but this is the new generation. We make our way back to here. This should have been Rock Path, yeah. Now we can actually split the paths, go this way. And let me grab this first. What did that, what was that even thing? That popped up quick and went away quick. Oh, we have a trainer here. I'm gonna get after him, beat him up, get as much XP as we can until we head to the Team Starfall base. Pineco. A little bit of Pineco. It's just, I don't think it's Pokemon's, I think it's just straight bug. I think it's straight bug, so I should be able to just pluck it up. Yep, awesome. Super effective shot. Self, no, come on now. It was self destruct. <laughs> Do not kill my killer watchful. Alright, it did a lot of damage. But I was trying I was trying to catch Voltorbs and they kept self-destructing on me. I was like, come on now. I just kept trying to catch it. I'm gonna throw out Nimble. I'm gonna keep a little watch out here. Look at his little wings and his little little feet. His little paddles. This pluck might be able to kill that. That is cool. I was gonna say Nimble's uh Nimble's defense kinda buns. Kinda hot hot garbo. 85 XP. That is nothing. That is doo doo XP. That is doo doo XP. I believe there might be a Poke Center up here, so I might not waste potions or anything. You know, this way, there's another trainer, which I do want to burst, but is there a Poke Center up here? There is. Right, I guess I'll heal, heal you up. I guess I'll heal you up. We'll go into her bag, have a little potion, and we'll go from there. Alright, let's go, lady. Run it up! You want you want you want some problems? Run it up. Do you know who who uh, she's versing? She know who she is versing. She's versing the eight time champ of every single region. Gen one through eight champ right here. Oh, this thing's level twenty. All right, hold up. Wait a minute. We're looking for a little power action. This thing's a little bulky. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Watchful. Getting after it with the parrot right off the rip. Oh yeah, we love it. We love it. Now what's gonna do more damage, pluck or spark? Spark will actually do it. We have no special moves. We need some special moves from him. Keep hitting him with this. He's gonna play rough me. All right, all right. You wanna play like that? I need to get some XP for my uh. I need some XP for my watch roll. So I'm gonna swap into my Crocolore. Oink alone? Is that the thing's name? Oink alone? Let's see this thing. Oink alone. Lone, Lone. I think it's just pronounced Lone. Did you silent? Cinerate up. Uh, and I hate this thing's evolution. I love Lei Chonk, but then they kind of just made it like a normal pig. Like Lei Chonk was cool because it was just like a short, pudgy, like Pokemon pig, and then it evolved and they just made it a normal pig. You're like, come on now, come on now. Can you make it look a little bit like a Pokemon? But it looks exactly like a normal pig. Let's learn Roost. Oh, yeah, you can learn Roost. I'm all about you learning Roost. Get rid of Uproar. I'm all about you learning Roost. You ever need some HP in battle? Luxio's gonna come in here. And now uh, I'm just keeping my Crocolor out here. Hey, this lady's got some Pokemans. They got some strong ones here. She's rolling out strong today. Gonna intimidate me. I got special attacking on my side. I'll just pop some incinerates. Big old damage. Thunder Fang coming in hot. Don't parry me. Cool. No paralyze. I'll just incinerate again. Finish up this battle. There it is, GG. Give me your money, lady. Give me your money. Money, please. Awesome. 401. Not bad. I'll take that XP all day. I'll take that XP all day long. Okay. Uh, to Swablu. Actually, I do not have Swablu. Actually, I think I do have Swablu in the decks. I'm going to head over this way. I'm going to go grab that LP right there. So that's going to be important for me. Then I'm going to go head down to that Poke Center and heal up my squad. There might be one more trainer that we have to defeat. Not too sure. But I want this LP. A little Sunskirt. 
Or Surskit. Oh, there's another trainer. Alright, trainer. I got you. I got you, buddy. Switch my Crackalore here. My Pokemon are rather high. They're 25? 23? Ain't bad levels. But that last trainer actually kind of showed me that uh, I should be around this level. Level Versus the level 20. I'm all about it. Eevee's gonna pop out here. Love me some Eevee. And this thing's only level 15. See, that makes no sense. The trainer up there was level 20s. And this thing's only level 15? Makes no sense. We take it out, no problem. We are on with our on with our adventure. We are really close. You can see two Poke Pokemon centers. And the desert. Oh, I like the desert. The desert's really cool. Let's keep moving. Jeff Loons. There might be one more trainer. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, I see up here. A lot of trainers on this route, but I like the XP. A mud braze. We'll take this. Pretty feather. And I'ma get ripping onto this little little boy right here. What kind of camera angle is that? Just shove my camera angle into the grass. Like I said, this game's incredible, but the graphical issues, come on now. Be so much better. It'd be so much better. There's times where like you see through the ground and everything. It is rough. Then right coming in hot. And ooh, see you later. My boy Crocolore with the egg on his head. Getting some work done. Getting some work done. Tink a tink coming out. I'd really like Tink a Tink. I think this Pokemon's typing is really strong for competitive. Steel and Fairy. Lovely little Pokemon. And I can just incinerate it right now and take it out. Uh, of course it's against baby doll eyes, but we're fits or we're special attack, so physical attacking doesn't matter. That's what's gonna be good about Crocolore in uh competitive play. Is I feel like Intimidate's gonna be really strong with Gyarados, Arcanine sitting on tops, especially in this format. So being a special attacker and not being able to be affected by that is really good. Plus, they added a new item, which is called the Clear Amulet. I think it's new. But stats can't be lowered by abilities or moves. I think it's going to be really good. I really do. I'm a big fan of it. Big fan of it. Here we are, guys. We made it to here. We defeated all the trainers on the route. Well, the, all the ones that we saw. And I think we have time to do Team Starfall before we actually finish off today's video. Plus, I like my team. Team Starfall. Do it. Let's get after it. I think we just go up here and we make like a hard right. Correct? That might be down a little bit farther. Yeah, here it is. So there's the pathway should split you yeah, here. Splits right here and there's the team Starfall. I think we just have to go talk to them, do a battle, and then we can actually uh, head and do the mission. There's my girl, Cassiopeia. Is that how you pronounce it? Cassiopeia? Cassiopeia. Talking to me on the phone. We still don't know who she is. And then my boy Clive over here pops out. He's like, hey, yo, what up? You doing some Operation Starfall stuff? I'm like, yes, sir. <laughs> but of course, this guy, it's obviously the director. He looks exactly like him. <laughs> like, come on now. Just, just, or like his brother, at least. I don't know. He looks exactly like him. 100% looks exactly like him. Same facial structure. He has white hair on the chin, but his hair is is blonde. Like, come on, that's obviously the director with like a wig on or something. <laughs> the only problem I have with the Team Starfall is because I'm not a big like dialogue person. I'm not gonna sit here and read through all the dialogue. But the dialogue and the cutscenes with the Team Starfall pals are absurdly long. For no reason. For no reason. You have to talk here, you have to talk to somebody else. After you defeat it, you have like a cutscene, and then when you come out, you have to talk to somebody else again, and it's just like, dude, let me play the game, and let me go. Even though, again, I said the story's pretty good. I did, uh, I did kind of keep up with it in my other game. Not like to the fullest extent where I was reading every single thing, but I got the general gist of what, uh, dialogue was saying. But I think this one's a bit longer because it's our first Team Star Fall base. I don't know if you need three Pokemon to actually start doing these. Because you need to bring in three Pokemon. I'm hoping I can just do it with two because my Pokemon can rip it up. You can just get it going. Again, I don't even know if we could beat this one. I forget the levels on this thing, but I think this should be the first Team Starfall base that you do. 
Because we just whooped up on the Titan, so I feel like we should be fine with it. I think we should definitely be fine. As we make our way here, again, like I said, the cutscenes and the dialogue is just absurd with the team Starfall bases. And we're going to have a quick one here, but I believe it's just like a quick battle here, too. Yes, battle me. Which one? Who, who, who am I slapping up on? Actually, I hope you guys should be able to double battle. For your two Pokemon versus my two Pokemon. Double battle. You should be able to make propositions like that. Like, hey, yo, double battle. All right now. <laughs> I, just, I just love double battles. I think they're so much more fun. Murkrow's can come out here. Do I have Watchroll? No, I have Crocodile in the front spot. I was say, Watchroll can get some work done onto the thing. That's all you have is just at level 19. So this kind of shows that we we are solid level for this. Incinerate coming in hot. And we just dump on it one shot. Get him on out of here. Goner. Get that XP level 26 too. That's solid before we head in here. Nice little level 26. And now we are allowed in here to complete our task. But again, hopefully uh, we can do this with two Pokemon. Because they tell you to bring in your top three Pokemon from your party. And we only have two. But I do have... I do have a Le Chonk. I believe I have a Le Chonk in my, uh, in my, what's it called? In my box. So if need be, he might be coming out to play for a little bit. Which would be kind of funny. A little bit of Le Chonk action, which I would just use him for like a, uh, a free revive if we need him. <laughs> like just throw him out there, have him die, but, uh, go into the bag. Get the rev revive off. But again, more talking going on here. I told you guys, every single thing that we do with Team Starfall, your phone's popping out or you have a cutscene to deal with. It's like, come on, dude. I just want to go in here and do it. But the Team Starfall's uh, missions are pretty cool. They're not too bad. They add to the story a little bit. All you got to do is defeat the people at the front, and then you can head in here. And let's see if we need three Pokemon. First three Pokemon in your party. Yeah, okay. So you can't challenge them without at least three. So Le Chonk is coming in. Come on, Le Chonk. Or we have more Watch Rolls. I mean, I think, I think we get more value out of watch rolls. Sorry, Lei Chong. Never mind. We're going with the double watch roll action. <laughs> We're going with double watch roll action. Like I said, they, they add to the story, and they're, and, they're, and they're pretty cool. You get some XP from them. But every single challenge is the same. I wish they would have changed it up with the challenges. You have to defeat 30 Pokemon every single time, and then you just push the And by defeating 30 Pokemon, you just have to do auto attacks with the Pokemon. Plus, they have healing stations and stuff for you. That's really not too hard. Just kind of running around hitting the, hitting the right bumper. And they give you 10 minutes, which they think is, I guess, is a short amount of time. But I legit complete it in like two minutes about. Really not hard at all. Let's get buzzing here. Pokemon over on the right. We're going to head right there. And we're just going to send out you here. And you over here. And you guys should be able to kill the three. And then we'll get moving over to these Sneasels over here. What's up, Sneasels? They got you. They got you. And we got the Zoroks. Ooh, I love me some Zoroks. God, somebody, somebody take out the other one. And I'll send you right here. And you right there. Like, like I said, it's so easy. We'll defeat this in, like, super quickly. We got the fish sharps right here. Four of them, too. That's good. It's a good little thing right here. Gonna have to re poke here. Get ripping on them. Dude, the double watch roll combo. Getting ripping here. Get him, watch rolls. There you go. Watch roll doing some work. Look at that. We're already at 20. Like I, like I said, yo, we'll do it in under two minutes. We're just cool like that. We rip it up like that. More Pokemon. We got some fish traps right here. Can I send this guy? Why can't I send him? There we go. I'm like mashing the button. We should be able to defeat all them. And then our last three should be like right here. Now, where are you going, Crocolore? Crocolore! Where are you going? They're right here. Get him, Crocolore. And that's GG's. There it is. A minute and 15 seconds. It gave us 10 minutes, and we did it in a minute and 15. Just flew right through it. And now we actually get to verse the final trainer right here. Or this trainer for Team Starfall. So the last two episodes have been pretty eventful for this game. We're complete main missions. We're killing it. We're doing everything we can. And this is the boss of Team Starfall's Dark Crew. Let's get ripping into him. Hopefully the levels are fine. Hopefully we don't have to struggle too much here. 
We'll see. But if we level up Watchroy again, I think he might evolve a level 24. So if we if he doesn't die here, we could be thriving. We could be doing really good. So hopefully Crocolo can just carry us to victory, which would be lovely. Let's see what it does. He going. with. You lead Bisharp or like first stage? Oh, Pawnier, perfect. It's just what I want. Crocolo is going to come out here. I'm just going to drop an incinerator into that thing, take it out. Depending on what level it is. I think it's going to be like 18, 19, right? 1e1, actually, that's high. But he only has two Pokemon. And I saw my, uh, I can Terrasilize. There you go, see a Ponyard. One shot, no problem. Probably get a little bit of XP. I don't think it's going to give out too much. Reverend's going to come out here. Let's get it done. I might just Terrasilize right off the rip. Gonna intimidate me. How dare you? Starmobile. Let's just terrestrialize here. We are just terrestrializing. And we didn't get any XP from that. Do we not get XP for defeating this thing? I honestly forget. Even though I just did like the last one yesterday. <laughs> or two days ago. We terrestrialize. We're gonna make our fire moves do double damage. And he's gonna have wicked torque. Which does a decent amount of damage. Not not crazy though. I think our Terrasilize Pokemon should be able to kill in three shots. Maybe even two. Let's see. How many shots are you going to take? Bop. That might be three or four. <clears throat> not bad. Not bad. Thinner again. It has Metal Sound. That's just going to drop her stats. That's fine. And it just drops her defense, right? Special defense. That could be. That could do us dirty. If he's rocking special attack and moves, that could be rough. There's another one of them. We'll go again. He's going to strong. That's going to do a nice amount of damage. But we dodge it. But my boy Crocodile coming in hot. Coming hot. And yeah, this team start for a battle. Light work. Light work. We got one more shot. There's no way he's killing us with one shot. That's GG's. He's going to snarl again. This should do a nice chunk. Yeah, it did do a nice chunk with that special defense drop. Drops our special attack. But this incinerate is so powerful enough to take it out. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. GG. Taking out our first star mobile and our first team star challenge let's see if we get xp for it i honestly forget because i would love for my watch to get some xp because again i think level 24 wow or something close to that something really close to that i guess we don't get xp it's a shame it's a dang shame there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We defeated our first Team Starfall member or group, whatever you guys want to call it. But I just wanted to skip through the cutscene and all that just to not waste your time considering it was like 10 minutes of talking. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. As in the next episode, we're going to be heading to a brand new area and probably defeating our third gym. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.